So next month is May, doesn't it come around fast? It's Spinal Health Week, the last week of May. We're putting together some great materials that will really make a difference in helping you promote your own practice and importantly, promote the ACA brand to elevate the reputation and credibility for chiropractors right across Australia. As we all know, we delayed the start of Consider a Cairo last year due to COVID-19. And so when we finally launched in August, it was remarkable that we had 11% of our members said that their practice increased as a result of what we did, given that we got great media pickup and many stories ran. And in part, that was due to the work we do with OPR, who gave us survey results that could be used as good media hook. If you really think about it, we're now just coming to the end of our true first year of running Consider a Cairo, and we're about to launch into our second year. We've said all along, this is a three to five year framework to look at how we can influence reputation and standing. Importantly, how might we lead more people to your door so they can experience the great care that chiropractors provide? OPR campaigns are guided by one central principle. That is to provide accurate, timely and engaging information to consumers that prompts a response. And our work with the ACA has done exactly that when last August we launched Consider a Cairo. The media outreach resulted in 22.8 million potential impressions across breakfast and evening TV news, radio and newspapers. With ACA spokespeople delivering the campaign key messages directly into the living rooms around the country. This combined with targeted print and online advertising opened the doors of the profession to whole new audiences. As we headed into 2021 with positive media sentiment behind us and more opportunities to engage with consumers ahead of us, we were acutely aware that repetition and message retention comes about by not straying too far from the foundations that have been laid. This year, to continue the success, we've been working with the ACA to develop the second iteration of the campaign. The overarching goal to encourage more first-time users into your practices has not changed, but the environment where the campaign lives has. This year, we are undertaking a deep dive into the impact of the past 12 months and how Australians' increasingly sedentary lives are impacting their broader health, including expert reflections from Anthony and the team. The messaging, of course, is consider a Cairo, as you can see behind me here. This is our three to five year tagline that we really want to solidify the message and sharpen the focus to all Australians. We know from our research that the standing and reputation of the chiropractic profession is 20% below that of a GP for people who have not experienced chiropractic care. However, because the patient satisfaction with chiropractic is so high, this jumps up to be on par as soon as someone has had an experience with a chiropractor. But we need to meet people where they're at. So what we're doing this Spinal Health Week is having internal and external messaging. The internal messaging is about you engaging with your existing patients. The external messaging, of course, needs to be different because here we're targeting a message to people who have not experienced chiropractic care before and may be a little bit nervous or uncertain about what that might involve. The two programs marry well together with the internal messaging being more about lifestyle, the external messaging focusing firmly on low back pain. And of course, we know that this is rampant throughout society and that both the public and the governments are looking for solutions to these types of problems. By now, you would have received your campaign toolkit in the post. This campaign toolkit contains a range of materials to help you promote the campaign in your local community and in your practice. This campaign toolkit contains three unique posters of the three different messages within this campaign. We also have three flyers that tie into each of those posters, including space for you to stamp or add your clinic details. We also have a media release template that can be adapted to send to your local newspaper or radio station. We also have a newsletter or blog template which can be used as copy for a range of resources to send out to your patients. This year again, we are running our two competitions for Spinal Health Week. We have our online competition with over $750 worth of prizes, including an Apple Watch, and also the Kids Colouring In competition, which is always a favourite. Members can now download a range of online resources, including social media posts, customizable print ads, online ads, and of course, our waiting room presentation. 
and we'll be adding new and exciting resources in the future as well. Last but not least, we'll be releasing another animated video during Spinal Health Week and we can't wait for you to see it. So we hope that you utilize all of these campaign resources and help us in making this a great Spinal Health Week this year. With Consider a Cairo, what this has been is a great team effort. So we've got OPR, we've got the board and staff of the ACA, and importantly, we've got our public engagement committee. So we're looking at how we not only bring in external information, but how we make that relevant for you in your practice so you can pick it up and run with it. So in many respects, the public engagement committee are the interpreters for us to bring the outside in and equally for you to take the inside going out. This year, we will be addressing how Australians have changed their lifestyles in the past year. Whether that's doing more or less exercise, spending more or less time at work, or even staying in front of the television. To do this, we're undertaking a national survey that will reveal the shifts in habits and experiences. We can then use this new data to develop the media messaging and engage with the profession to provide their commentary on the trends that are uncovered. To bring this story to life, we will work with the ACA to secure a bank of expert and patient spokespeople. That includes you and your role to make this campaign come alive from the ground up. We'll have more to say in the weeks and months ahead about how we will continue the conversation on Australians considering the profession as part of their health and well-being throughout the remainder of 2021 and through into next year. So please get engaged with Spinal Health Week. It might be as simple as putting up three great posters in your reception area. Or you might look at organising an event, going out into your community and doing talks, using the social media, which is excellent to really portray your practice in a professional and credible way. Put the logo out there, let's get behind it and have a great Spinal Health Week.